Hey everybody, I'm Alicia Toot from A Music Vlogger, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Gay 90s. How are you all doing today? Really good. Woo! Very well. Woo. Yeah. Awesome, glad to hear it. So you earlier posted that this is the best fall ever because you've been on tour with July Talk, Darcy's, you're now on tour with Mounties. So just what have been some of your tour highlights so far? Mm. Anyone like to take it? Uh, um, I, uh, I, it's been great joining up with the Mounties and, and sort of starting this next string of shows. Um, and also it's always a pleasure to play with our good pals July Talk uh, in Winnipeg at the, at the Pyramid. It was an incredible show. And I always love hooking up with those guys. We've been re we've been really lucky. <laughs> yeah, I, I a kind of funny uh, observation. Like we've toured basically every season this year, and it's been really pleasant touring in the fall and seeing all the foliage change. <laughs> I don't know that yeah, it, ha it has been really nice, but now it's actually it's cold now. It wasn't cold. We 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 somehow we were like surfing the. Uh, the global warming thing, and it was great. Time, like it was good time. Yeah, that global warming thing, is, yeah, yeah. it's really working out for touring bands. We're big supporters, <laughs> but uh, not actually. But uh, yeah, now it's cold, and that kind of sucks. I didn't bring a jacket. Yeah. So there's a couple of little there's, highlights. There's some, yeah, a couple of drawbacks. Didn't bring a jacket when we were touring in February. So. Yeah, I'm a slow learner. <laughs> It was snowing this morning. Yeah. Did you guys catch that? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, as far as this tour has gone so far, what would you say are some funny moments or things that have happened to you? Because I'm sure you guys have quite a few. You seem like a pretty fun yeah, band. Yeah. Doesn't matter, Sam. We, uh, for the first half of the tour, we brought along um, a lighting guy slash videographer, and we filmed some pretty ridiculous tour videos that are... Uh, one of them we released already, which was the Hacky Sack yes. video, yeah. which, like, we we genuinely love playing Hacky Sack, <laughs> and we do it just about every day. <laughs> it's like, it's a it's a cool tour, like, I don't know. It's just the right size. It's portable. It's accessible. You just pull your pocket. You can do it. Get your heart rate up. You know, while someone's pumping gas, you can get a little exercise. Yeah. And we, so... We haven't been doing it as much now that it's not summertime, though. That's one thing I have noticed. Yeah. The indoor hack is more of a rarity with us. That is true. We do enjoy an outdoor hack <laughs> a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so we had uh, we had that video come out, and then we've got just like the stupidest video ever called Party Cop that uh, that is going to be out probably in the next day or two. Probably by the time this is aired, it will be out, and your viewers will already know how stupid so it is. Oh, goddamn ridiculous. So ridiculous! I like I I'm. I haven't seen it yet, but I watched it while we were filming it, like just what we, how we were, and it could ruin us. There's like, there's a chance. Actually, when we were filming it, the security of the hotel, when we were filming it, actually came and we're wandering the halls, like, Trying what the us. fuck is happening? Sorry, bleep that out. But seriously, it was, we almost got in big trouble for that video. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a uh, Check out Party Cop. <laughs> yeah, or don't. <laughs> I remember coming across Bring Back the Hack, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? It was like the ethereal music, background music, and you guys all dancing around with Hack Sack. So what are some other items that you would like to bring back? Devil sticks. Devil sticks, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, general bring circus back. paraphernalia. Uh, sure. I've, I've yeah. been trying to, I've been doing my damnedest to bring back the female blouse on men. Which uh, not a lot of people are really that into and, these. And days. one might argue that's not so much bringing it back. I don't recall a time oh, when no. it was previously. Uh, this is just this is starting there, a whole. There's, new there's got to be one point in time in the seventies. Yeah, my dad actually he had a few female yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> yeah. Is it something where you prefer to bring back the paisleys or the florals? Like, what, what's your what's your ultimate sure bring back? It's it's all about the drape. It's it's not so much about the pattern. The pattern is it's the drape and like the silk. It's got to be silk. The flow and the feel. The feel, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got it's to make you feel sexy and free. <laughs> the, way, the, the way that it smells after being shoved under the tour van seat for a week with cigarette butts and beer on it. Uh, after be, after being worn on stage for hours, right? That's the most crucial. How? Now we're, now, now we're getting into like the true real life uh, ex 
experience of my blouses. That's that's true. Yeah. I'm not saying that's for it's everyone. A, it's a tough existence. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can barely put up with the way that I smell. So I wouldn't yeah. recommend it for anyone. But strangely, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's how it's how I keep them around. <laughs> Well, I wanted to bring up the fact that later this month you're releasing a new EP titled Liberal Guilt. Which you now have. Which I now have, yes. We're going to be actually soon doing a giveaway for it. Let's keep, keep your eyes on the website. Ooh! <laughs> so with the release of this upcoming EP, just tell us, uh, what was the experience like recording this for all of you together? Good. It was really, really good. <laughs> it was awesome. It was, our, it was our first time, I think, really keying into every single thing that we want to do as a band. Influence wise, tone wise, we kind of just pulled out all the stops and just did exactly what we wanted to do, and it feels really good. Like it, it's such a f liberating feeling to just be completely happy with something. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like over the last few years, we've been going into the studio and recording songs, kind of a, a batch of songs at a time. And really, what comprises this EP is the last session that we did, the last batch of songs. But some of the songs we wrote like three years ago. Some of the songs were some of the first songs that we did write. So it does kind of span the last three years. That's true, yeah, well. totally. Um, but it's like, we feel like we like we figured it out, like how how we want to... Record. Yeah, and, and come across, yeah. So it, it, it was incredibly fulfilling, and like, we're so stoked to share it, as well as so stoked to like, start recording again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it was a very good experience. And like, um, the... We've got a like an initial limited edition tour pressing that we did of it. That's available on this tour, and that was done in like completely in house. Where like I silk screened all the covers. We did a Alexis limit. Designed yeah, Alexis covers. designed designed it all, and so it's like it's really it's a representation of of us entirely. Like they were, we they were burned on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not CDRs. <laughs> Uh, next question. <laughs> the title, Liberal Guilt, uh, where does that come from exactly? Is that some kind of political spin, or what, what's the story behind it for you? I think for us, where it kind of came from is that uh, we, we get people who, like, don't understand the name of the band, okay. where they'll, we'll get, we'll kind of get, like, I don't know, kind of tough guy homophobes who, like, just don't want anything to do with it. But then on the other side of the spectrum, there is like, there is extremely liberal uh, friends of ours and people that we run into that also feel uncomfortable about it. They're not sure if we're trying to take the piss out of gay people or not. And like, we so absolutely are not. And that's like, that is so far from our, uh, like, I yeah, don't know. it doesn't even register. It doesn't that, even that, register that exactly. And so it's, it's funny seeing on both sides of the spectrum people kind of uncomfortable with it and that's where we kind of came up with the, the idea of liberal guilt yeah it's, it's also like accepting it and going along with it even though you might not fully subscribe but you see that the norm the popular vote is to be accepting and liberal but you know yeah the, the other the other name was going to be the hipster conundrum it's like <laughs> that's kind of what we're talking about you know it's like it's like <laughs> Should I like it? I don't know. I like it, but only ironically. Like it's like that's liberal guilt. It's like it's like I think I like it, but I'm afraid to tell yeah. my friends about it's it. It's like, like just yeah. just like it or not. <laughs> Do you know what else is liberal guilt? Is uh, hacky sack is liberal guilt. Definitely. Yeah, because you, you uh, it's like a guilty pleasure that you, every, like people. Yeah, and people, people, uh, because people are like, you guys play hacky sack, like, oh, hacky sack, like, it's so lame or whatever, but you know what, I, like, we love it, and, and, and they're, mi and they're missing out, and so, like, and so it's just like, like, who fucking cares, we want to hack, and you guys would be a lot cooler if you did, and it'd probably help you get laid as well, that's liberal guilt, getting laid. You heard it first on Ambi, gay 90s love, as you said, the hack. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm glad you brought up the name, because obviously it reflects an era. Um, so just speaking of eras, if you guys could travel to any era aside from the gay 90s, where would you want to go? Oh, aside from the gay 90s. Ooh. Um, i go to Los Angeles in, like, the early 70s, so, like, L.A. pre-AIDS mid Coke. That's, oh, that's a hot time. I'd say maybe New York in the 20s. Oh, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. 
makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'd say... Uh, I don't know. I'd say probably... You want me, Malcolm? Yeah. I'd, I'd just let's like go. to tag along with Bruce yeah, for an adventure. Yeah, too <laughs> yeah, yeah, wherever Bruce is wanting to go, you can sign me up. <laughs> you could go back to yesterday so you could undo everything that you did last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would... I'd go into the future. I'd go like a thousand years into the future. A thousand years? Yeah. It's going to be terrible it's gonna be a wasteland <laughs> i don't fucking give a shit man <laughs> and lex i probably join bruce and malcolm in new york but 40 years later in the 60s but without you come back is it like a cougar who seduces them <laughs> <laughs> yeah that sounds about right yeah <laughs> that'd be really fun actually yeah new york in the 60s pull it off. I, I, think like to, I like to think, I think so <laughs> There you go. I do believe that wraps everything up. So I just want to say thanks. It does. You want another question? You want another? You want another question? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Letterman, right? Crazy video. Is he? I, I love it. Yes. Um, is he your favorite late night talk show host? Is that why you decided to call it Letterman? It's not. Who is yours? Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's my guy. He's he's sick. Jimmy Fallon just did the like the the war water thing with uh, that hunk. Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. oh. Ooh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's a hunk, but it was it was so funny. I, Jim, I think Jimmy Fallon's great, and Questlove is dope. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely not Letterman. <laughs> 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 but, but we really want, we really, we'll still play on your show, <laughs> exactly, David. Unless that'll get its own Letterman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely Letterman. Yeah, For sure. yeah, yeah. Basically, anybody that puts us on their show as our favorite talk show host, except for Craig Ferguson. Yeah, good riddance. Unless he wants us on there, then begrudgingly, he'll be our favorite. <laughs> well, since, since you mentioned others that are your favorite, why did you decide to go with Letterman and base it off of the show and put everything in this, that direct theme? I think, I think the biggest thing was it was spoken, and also Letterman's... I mean, it's, it's kind of been like a steadfast musical... I, icon for you know you get on Letterman it's like wow. holy shit yeah. you're on Letterman so that that just kind of happened to be the one that was spoken it, it wouldn't then, have the same ring if it was Kimmel like, yeah. <laughs> oh man <laughs> we're gonna get on Carson Daly <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're not even going anywhere near that <laughs> that's yeah. Gameshi and Cosby are off for for a little while till we have all the facts. I think we just went there. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> you mentioned how if you go on Letterman, that's exactly where you make it bigger. That's, you know, kind of a nice takeoff. Um, but where would your dream place be to play then? Mm -hmm. I'd like to sell out Madison Square Garden. Oh. Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a similar milestone. Yeah. yeah. Carnegie Hall. I think that's a big one. Yeah. Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Oh, it'd be cool to play the White House. What? Uh. Yeah. Naked. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> With a slight buzz. Uh, Lee's Palace, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I mean, in all honesty, it actually like, is it, kind of this a is deal. like, yeah. Also, the Commodore. We've yet to play the Commodore. That is going to be a thing. That's yeah. Crazy. Like our hometown, beautiful place. And yeah, Lee's Palace, tonight's going to be fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're excited. Woo. <laughs> Well, sitting here with you all, you seem like you're a really close-knit band. So what do you say is the best part about being in Gay 90s? I think this is a nice way to wrap everything up. Oh. There you go. Yeah? Yeah, should we go well, yeah, 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 what do you got? Well, <clears throat> uh, one night after a show, we were um, hanging out till quite late, and, and, uh, and we're in a state of mind where we decided to become Blood Brothers. Uh, and everyone, we were sitting on the floor, and... Bruce took out his buck knife and and Parker, he's like, wait, before we become Blood Brothers, we have to pick the perfect McCartney song. <laughs> <laughs> so he put on, what was it, Uncle Albert? Yeah. Uh, well, a wing song. Uh, and when everyone went around uh, and cut their hands and we were all starting to bleed, but the thing that I love about playing in the gay 90s is when I couldn't seem to cut my hand myself, Malcolm took the knife and sliced my hand open very deeply. So that's yeah. with, the, ease. with ease. With yeah, ease. And no so way. and so yeah. and so I know that if I can't cut myself, one of these guys are gonna cut me. Oh, that's oh. So sweet. Oh. Oh. Oh.
totally that's, cut you. that's touching. I, that was my story, Dan. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're brothers, and it, and it shows in every single which way. Uh, we could all answer the same questions in the same way and support and, each and other. And now we have a new weird little sister, too. That's true. Well, she's, she's a brother. She proved that last night, too. She was packing some weird heat last night downstairs. <laughs> Yeah, she 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 stuffed last night, and and she was getting all of the Mounties to touch. And yeah, just, I think they liked it. I think they liked my package. Yeah, it was it was well stuffed, well thought out. Yeah, it was it was brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. So that's Alexa's favorite part of being gay nineties, is it? She gets to stuff her. That's a nice stuff stuffed stuffed package. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, just just so you know, last night was Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> So this all makes sense. No, I just stuff myself every night. I'm gonna stuff myself again tonight. It felt good. All right, okay. All right. But yeah, I think like I think, <laughs> I think in all honesty though, like the best part about this band is that like we are all truly like best friends. And like to get to do this together and like especially at this time where it's so goddamn exciting like check in in a couple of years <laughs> but like it's like truly like every minute of it we're we're best friends and we've been through the weeds together like we've 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 been we've played a fucking so many bad shows and like we've learned so much from each other like it's crazy it's it's a thing we've been through quite a bit like you know what i mean it's and it we've only grown together not apart yeah yeah totally so, there we have it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I just want to say congrats on everything. It was so lovely speaking with all of you today. And we cannot wait to see your show tonight. We're extremely excited. Yeah, yeah. and thanks to everyone at home for watching our interview with Gay 90s. Gay 90s. Woo! Thank you.